AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Our host brings you the leading minds in AI, sharing their story, their success, and their advice. Focusing on fast-tracking you to the top, AI in Action cuts through the hype to help you kickstart your data science career. To listen to the latest AI in Action podcast, head over to www.aldus.com forward slash podcast, or subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Podcasts. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Shabazz Patel. Shabazz is the Director of Data Science for One Concern. Shabazz, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, John. Oh, it's our pleasure. Um, so Shabazz, let's start with yourself. Can you give us uh, an overview of your background, where you first got started in technology and, and walk us through some of the roles you've held along the way, taking us up to your current position at One Concern? Sure, sure. Um, so the way how I actually got into data science and machine learning starts from my graduate studies at Stanford. So I took up a machine learning course, which was offered by Andrew Ring and followed by working as his teaching assistant. And this is when I realized that there exists like a significant benefits which we can get with given advancements of large amounts of data and compute power. And around this time, that's when the 2012 ImageNet competition was a breakthrough in computer vision which made all the researchers start looking back into deep learning. I then got further into machine learning by taking uh, deep learning courses at Stanford and then working at the Stanford AI lab on different computer vision projects. I then realized that the advancement of artificial intelligence has a huge potential uh, which we can use uh, in order to solve a variety of problems. And I'm particularly inspired by how AI can actually be used for solving the entire Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And we are observing that happening today. So at Stanford, I and then uh, my then classmate, Anand, we started working on a project to be able to search through multimedia content, images and videos, uh, before this existed in the Google Photos app. This technology was quickly um, getting interest from a few of our customers, like different companies and Silicon Valley investors we decided to start a company around this technology then. As we were developing products around this technology, we faced a number of challenges along the way. Uh, We also realized that the internal tools which we are developing then were much more valuable. And we decided to actually provide this tools for version control of experiments and model deployments to different customers so, so that they can actually have a much more robust ML infrastructure. That's how uh, my journey went into machine learning and data science. We decided to actually uh, repurpose this internal solution so that we can provide it for deployment, monitoring, and managing algorithms at scale for ML engineers. This tool was called Datmo, and we had like a lot of downloads, around 70,000 downloads for this uh, CLI. And during my journey at Datmo, we were provided um, different kind of uh, categories of different sectors of companies. We worked with uh, multimedia companies, finance companies, and gaming companies. And while we were building this company, we were approached for acquisitions for our domain expertise. After giving some deep thought around uh, what we should be doing so that we can have a maximum impact of our expertise, we found that there existed as very strong synergies with the One Concerns AI technology and its noble mission. And thus, we decided to join One Concern. My interest in One Concern has basically been with the fact that One Concern's goal is a very important one. And with data science, they aimed at helping save lives during catastrophic events. And this data science team is involved in modeling and solving this very problem. So thank you, Shabazz. I really appreciate the, the, the background. And I wanted just to jump in here to, to break up from, from your journey to talking about one concern so your company datmo was you know acquired by one concern and, and you signed on to do that so explain to us who one concern are and and walk us through uh, what you guys are working on so one concern is a resiliency as a service solution that brings uh, disaster science together with machine learning for better decision making so the problem statement one concern tries to answer is for business owner or decision maker who wants to know where and how their business is vulnerable to natural hazards so that they can make better uh, decisions and understand their risks uh, and uh, make sure that they are well prepared for different natural catastrophes which are possible. 
Today, organizations are focused on four C's of risk, cybersecurity, climate, most prominently now COVID, and most recently civil unrest. While all are very pressing issues, we at One Concern have determined that we can make the most outsized impact in the climate space, which is an issue faced globally in many ways. Now, by advancing disaster science, impact mapping, and forecasting, we quantify resiliency from catastrophic perils, empowering the leaders to make right decisions by measuring the risk and mitigating them so that the disasters are not as disastrous anymore. Very interesting space. It's not something that we get to, to discuss on the podcast often. So I'm, I'm intrigued to, to learn more how that works and more importantly, what happens behind the scenes in your group within data science to, to drive this forward. So it'd be good for you to, to sort of explain what happens behind the scenes, how you're utilizing the data in ML and, and maybe give us an example of, of a customer and, and what you guys were able to do for them. So data science enables uh, one concern to elevate the insights which we are able to deliver to our customers, uh, either by improving the performance of the traditional models which exist in the catastrophe modeling space, or by completing the missing data sets, which uncovers a wide variety of underlying dependencies that were unobserved before. So for example, one of the projects which we have internally is understanding the power infrastructure and the ripple effects that can cascade out from a number of commonly seen failures in the adverse uh, events, such as natural catastrophes. So think of an example where you want to understand how the impact of natural catastrophe would be to the power availability at the particular building location. And we try to solve this problem by different ways of modeling it, understanding how the distribution networks would be. And that gives us the representation of the power infrastructure of a city. And that helps us uh, model the city with respect to its power availability. And the other use case which we also provide is also for understanding the flood forecasting uh, capabilities. We consume the weather data and the weather forecast data, and we apply that data and then understand how the flood extent would be due to this uh, ever evolving new weather data which can come in. And with this, the users can then make the right decision on how they can save lives uh, at these specific locations using our uh, live platform, which is also called an re event response platform. Shabazz, I, I think it's important to ask the question as to who can benefit from uh, you know, a product like what you're offering at One Concern and, and help us understand the broad range of impact that this can have to businesses. Uh, businesses, governments, agencies, who's using One Concern and, and help us visualize the benefit that they're getting? Definitely. At the end, what we finally are, are solving over here is providing a resiliency as a service solution. Uh, the benefit can go into enterprise sector, it can go into um, the asset managers, it can go into cities who want to finally make sure that they have the necessary investments done so that they can make the city more resilient. And uh, in order to do this, what we provide is data so that they can make the right decision. And uh, we do this by modeling uh, the different set of um, impacts which their assets would have and that basically goes back to what question are we trying to answer as one concern we are basically answering where and uh, how are their businesses vulnerable to natural hazards so that they can better understand their risk and then make the right decisions uh, for that particular situation again um, the number customers would can be wide variety based on who really wants to answer uh, the stress which is being caused because of natural catastrophe yeah, that's. I think that's a. It's a very good point. Um, so focusing now on, on your data team, can you give us some insight into what what a typical project is like, and 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 what's required within your data science team to 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 get this product and service to market? Sure, that's a good point. So um, so the way how we have structured our team are in three different teams, and based on the project itself, uh, we are a team of eighteen members and we have an event response team. Uh, this team works on developing models for our real-time modeling pipelines for any future events. The projects we work on are to forecast flood extents based on weather forecasts. Uh, this is one particular team. The second one is called resiliency team, and this team works on developing resiliency models for multi-parallels, different kinds of hazards by developing necessary 
hazard models by understanding all possible hazards which can uh, affect a particular region. For example, earthquakes, uh, what are all the possible earthquakes which are possible in a region? And then we also understand what is the built environment or the built infrastructure and which we call as exposure modeling. And we do this to understand uh, the, the presence of how the building inf information and the infrastructure can be used in order to understand the impacts on them. And we also generate synthetic data sets to represent this in, uh, city itself. And the final thing is vulnerability and the recovery modeling which we perform. We understand how a building would be fragile to and peril such as earthquakes and how long would it take for a particular building to come back. The third final team is the data annotation team and this team works on providing the necessary data sets to all the other data scientists so that we have uh, our data scientists work on the hard problems on modeling and then use the necessary data so that we can use in our models. Thinking about all the projects that you've worked on from your time uh, at, at that role now transitioning into one concern, when, when you look ahead now for, for 2021 and beyond, what are you most excited about uh, for the work you're doing within one concern and, and your data science team? Sure. Um, the most exciting thing is the fact that uh, we are developing solutions where we can provide forecasts for how disasters would evolve and we forecast that. For example, we try to forecast the flood extents uh, based on the weather forecast data which we get. We impact. We also forecast the impact of earthquakes on any city. That allows the city officials to make sure they can make the right decisions there. And at the same time, we also have resiliency uh, as a service solution, which allows the asset managers to make a very interesting and important decision, uh, which they were not uh, aware about before. For example, I mean, like we all know about the fact that climate change is a pressing problem, but how does it really affect the business itself? And by connecting the climate change as a concept to the business ROI allows uh, many organizations to then make a valid argument on how they should be taking the right step and position in their company to make sure uh, we are addressing this very adverse problem which we all are facing. Shabazz, listen, really appreciate you coming on talking to us today about one concern. It's 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 a unique industry, incredibly interesting. And uh, look, technology is disrupting a lot of industries for good, but it's also helping uh, make massive improvements. And you know, the work you're doing clearly has a mission that everyone can get behind. So thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. Thank you. AI Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Aulus offer an exec search program. Aulus can help you discover how data science and AI can transform your company. With our unrivaled network of C-suite executives and senior AI professionals, we offer retained search services across the US and Europe. Get the Aulus advantage. Become a member of the Aulus community and enjoy some of the following. AI meetups. Once a month, our community gathers to listen to some of the leading experts in the world of data science and AI. Our speakers come from all over the world, including Dublin, Boston, and Frankfurt. We also have our AI mentors. Our experts will provide mentoring to all its members. And don't forget our AI on Action podcast. Each week, we have guests from all over the world talking us through their education, career, and more. Become an Aldis member and get the Aldis advantage. For more information and to sign up for our newsletter, log on to www.aldis.com. That's www.aldus.com. Aldus International, empowering through AI.